Hi, Chris Pollock and Sam Winder. And we're going to show you how to build an ADA D return. We've got several pieces laid out here, and we're just going to go over each of these pieces and then we're going to show you how to put it together. So, uh, Sam, talk to us about the different fittings that you see here. Right here we have the variable angle fitting. Now, where, where would you use that? This would be used at the end of the uh, railing on the ramp or stairs. Uh, anywhere you need to go from one angle to another, basically. Um, that has to be used in accordance with uh, uh, the internal coupling on each end. Goes in like that and like that, you know, both ends in order to so attach it to the pipe. So what's the idea of using the internal coupling? What, is that, what does that do for us as, we, as we're building an ADA right. railing? The internal coupling will allow you to uh, maintain a uh, continual smooth rail because it's the same the outer diameter of the internal coupling, which you will see, is uh, the same outer diameter as the uh, fitting and the pipe that you need for the railing. And then we're moving on to the 90 degree elbow, which uh, allows you to um, place it directly into a piece of pipe on each end. You can see, like so. And then you would have the set screws on the opposite side, tighten those down. And what it does is the fitting will actually open up enough to tighten up against the inner walls of the pipe, giving a nice snug fit. So this together. You can see that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put this together. I mean, the usage of a simple tool, uh, the guys who work at Simplified Building can certainly, like Sam and Dan, uh, who you can't see, um, can actually help you uh, configure this whole entire system so that they send you a complete bill of materials, send you all the parts and pieces that you need. So all that you really need to do is gather your pieces together, get a few simple tools together, and you can build a complete ADA rail. So this is the D-Return. 